For more, I bring in the man we're discussing tonight, Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont. Senator, good to have you with us tonight. I appreciate your time. Well, Ed, thank you very much for all of those kind words. Well, it's the truth. When I ask you a question about climate change, I get a straight answer. When I ask you a question about income inequality, you give me a straight answer. When change CPI, play the tape. There it is. You have an answer. Now, Senator, what do you want to accomplish with these upcoming trips we have mapped out and, and the schedule's been made available to us? What, what do you want to accomplish here? Well, Ed, number one, I want confirmation of what I believe is true. And that is the issues that I care about, the issues that you care about, the issues you've just been talking about. The collapse of the middle class, the fact that we have so many people today living in poverty, income and wealth inequality, so that we have today the worst and most disproportionate income and wealth inequality of any major country on earth. We're the only country in the industrialized world that doesn't guarantee health care to all of its people. We have the highest rate of childhood poverty. I believe that all over this country, in so-called red states and in so-called blue states, People are profoundly disgusted about what is happening and that they want real change. Now, I'm going to go to Mississippi. I'm going to go to South Carolina. These are not generally considered to be, quote unquote, progressive states. But I believe that in those states, people want to hear voices saying enough is enough. The billionaire class can't have it all. The middle class has got to get some of it. We need to change our trade policies so that corporate America invests in this country, not in China. That it is wrong that Burger King and other large corporations are fleeing America because they don't want to pay their fair share of taxes. That we need to rebuild our crumbling infrastructure and create millions of jobs. That yes, the scientists are right, climate change is real, and that we have to transform our energy system away from fossil fuel. I believe that these are not radical ideas. No. In fact, I believe that in every one of these ideas, the vast majority of the people agree. It's, it's populist is what it is. That's, exact, that's where the American people are, which you just described on these issues. And if we go through a vetting process for what candidate is going to be representing uh, the, the Democrats, we're hurting ourselves. And so I, I think the discussion that you have with the American people in these town halls right now is vitally important to the country. Because if the other side had it their way, they wouldn't be talking about any of these things that you're bringing up, where American families are, because of Citizens United and the bankrolling that can be done from a local level all the way from school boards all the way to the White House. And so and having the discussion is, is vitally important. Now, and here's the point. Here's the point on Citizens United. I believe passionately that if we do not overturn Citizens United, this country is well on the way to becoming an oligarchic form of society where the billionaire class is going to control our political life. But you know what? It's not just my view. That's not just your view. That is what people across the political spectrum believe. Nobody that I know, regardless of their political views, thinks that American democracy has anything to do with billionaires like the Koch brothers being able to spend hundreds of millions of dollars yeah. to elect candidates who represent the rich and the powerful. S S Senator, give us a, a, a snapshot uh, of you. How do you stay unvarnished? H how do you stay unspoiled? Is it because well, it, d being from a small state, being from where there's not a lot of people that you can really reach out probably better than someone that's in a, in a, in a big populated state, not to say that other senators aren't real to their people, but there, there, is, there is a quality about you where you're unspoiled. You're not afraid to attack the issues. There's not, there, there's not a political calculation always being made by Bernie Sanders on what's right and what's wrong. And I find that refreshing, and I hope the candidate, whoever it may be, is going to be just that way. Ed, let me tell you a brief story. I was elected mayor of the city of Burlington, and probably a lesson that I learned there I've never forgotten, and that is that when you stand up and fight, ordinary people respond. In my second run for office, we have a two-year term there, voter turnout in Burlington, Vermont, almost doubled, almost doubled. Because people said, you know what, Bernie is standing with us, we're going to stand with him. And I think all over this country, 
when we're looking at an election coming up where 60% of the American people have given up and are not going to vote. What we need to do is remind the American people. You use the word dream. This country can be so much more than we are right now if we work together, mm -hmm. if we're prepared to stand up to the big money interest. And when that happens, when that kind of discussion and excitement takes place, people are going to come out of the woodwork. And that is, I think, what has got to happen. And if we're going to bring about change in America, that is exactly what must happen. So this schedule is about you collecting information and ascertaining whether you would have an opportunity, whether you would have a legitimate shot to, to uh, get the nomination. And, of course, I've got to ask you about would you run as, an, uh, as, a, as a, uh, uh, a Democrat or as an independent. But it, th this is about you collecting momentum and to see if there's a pulse out there, correct? This is about seeing whether ordinary people are prepared to stand up and fight and create a political revolution in the sense of what we have not seen for a very, very long time. Okay. Democrat? Independent? Have you thought about now, that? That's, well, that's exactly what I'm thinking about, and that's exactly what I'm talking to people about. All right. Senator, good to have you with us tonight. I appreciate your time. We'll follow you on the trail to see how it all unfolds, and thanks for speaking up here on The Ed Show tonight. Thanks so much. Coming Thank up you. with Republican stars mired in controversy. Uh-oh. How about this?